It's a regular scheduled meeting of the Town of Berlin Development Review Board. Um, I'm Robert Wernick. I'm the chair. On my right is Tour Nelson. On my left, another board member and the vice chair is Carlin Weasel. We have on the screen here John Friedrich, board member, and Polly, a recording secretary, Carla Preston, a zone administrator. Uh, Tom Madowski. Orca is on the widget as well as Orca is over here. Okay, Orca is recording this. Uh, very good. And um, for the applicant, we have. Uh, I'm Matthew Weber. I'm, I'm the one purchasing the, the subdivide. You, you, your name is what? Matthew Aber. Matthew Aber. Yep. Okay. And uh, uh, do you have permission to represent the applicant? Yes, he does. It's we do? At the top of that box. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, because we, we've already paid for the land, so okay. we're kind of back working backwards here. Uh, Matthew, and we have some uh, guest here. Uh, you are? Julie Slayton. I'm sorry? Julie Slayton. Julie Slayton? Yeah. And she's daughter to... Brad Slate and the owner? Yes. Okay. Ah. We have somebody else joining here. Do we have somebody else joining us? Yep. Oh, here comes somebody. We can keep going, Bob. There, it's so around get in here. There's no name on it besides Motorola One. Hey, Tom, could I steal a pen from you, please? Thank you. <laughs> They're still not connected yet. Okay, well, we'll proceed. If they, they join us, we'll. Uh, Ask them to introduce themselves. Um, first thing I want to do is swear in. Anybody intends to give testimony in this matter before the board tonight, which is um, you're very quiet for some reason. Is that is that true for anyone else? Well, they weren't a minute ago. I know, but now it's I'm <laughs> not getting much volume. Oh, I can hear Carla laugh. This is there good. you go. <laughs> No, barely. <laughs> well, I may, I may have put my hand over my mouth. Like, oh, there. Yeah, it, it is much quieter than it was. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Huh. What is this mic? The only mic that we're using is the one off the uh -huh. uh, There we go. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's magic. That's right. <laughs> Excuse me, we have somebody on Motorola 1.5. Can you in introduce yourself, please? Would that help the Orca? Motorola 1.5. Get the Ace. <laughs> 5G Ace. A-C-E, Ace. Motorola 1.5 G Ace. <laughs> <laughs> like the good Don't old days when they had to show up at the door, Tom. Well, what we do now is swear in everybody intends to give testimony before this board tonight. <laughs> um, uh, would you like to give testimony tonight, Julie? I honestly have no idea. I'm just kind of observing. Okay. If you do, we can swear you in. What I need to swear anybody intends to speak in, in okay. before the board tonight. We swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, matters before this board tonight. Under penalties of perjury. I do. Here. Yeah, it's it's gone quiet again. Where's the Bobby? Megaphone there, Bob. Well, it's funny because it periodically the sound is good. Yeah. Right, right now I can barely hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go, suddenly. Bob, you need to sit here and then just speak a little louder. I I can speak louder. Can you hear me now, John? 
Yeah. As soon as Tom starts speaking up, but then I think the microphone adapts. Yeah, go in and out or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, now you're quiet again. The important thing is that Carla can hear you so she can take the, the minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Carla, can you hear us? I, I can. You fade out. <laughs> But I can I can hear you at this moment. What about, do I need to move, John? Hi, Tom. I don't know. Can you hear me now? There we go. We can. Yeah, too far away for that speaker. Uh, Motorola is not working. Yeah, the Motorola is not working. Thank you. What's Motorola? It's not this, working. This person, whoever that is. Oh yeah. Okay. Not Orca. I see. Um, okay, so we've sworn in the, the uh, applicant's uh, representative and uh, zoning administrator and uh, Julie uh, Slayton. Um, Julie, I'm sorry. I get, yeah. um, so uh, why don't you tell us... Excuse me, well, party status? Party status? Do you, what party status? She probably doesn't. Anyway. Party status means uh, you get to uh, not only testify, and in fact you have to testify on the matters of the board to you, but if you, you don't like the ruling we make, you get to appeal our ruling if you have party status. Are, are you a neighbor or? or no. I'm just the daughter of Brad Slayton and in the future may um, get a lot as well and I'm just kind of learning, observing and just trying to understand the whole process. And I don't know if she'd be eligible for a party status. That's, that's uh, probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Um, but if she's not requesting it, uh, we can always deal with that if, if something comes up. Yeah. Um, John, can you hear me all right? Yep. Okay, just it was too far away. Um, please, if you would give us, uh, start by giving us an overview. We obviously have standards that we're going by for subdivisions. We're going to review those standards. Sure. Uh, um, criteria. Yeah. This but I, I, yeah, I think it would be helpful if you explained what's there and what's being proposed. Okay. So th this is actually my first time doing something like this too. So I'm, I'm kind of learning as we go as well. But um, Again, your, have, your name is? Uh, I'm Matthew Hebert. I'm, I'm the one purchasing this, this chunk of land. Um, so this chunk of land meaning the lot, the lot that's two. being subdivided. Yes. The whole, both lot two. The, no, uh, just, just the just, little, just the, the four acre parcel. Yeah. The, yeah so explain, that, explain to us what the subdivision is. So, um, basically, um, we had to go as the size we did because of the, the lay of the land. There's some areas that aren't useful, right of ways, things like that. Um, but we, we paid Brad for this lot of land already. Um, we're kind of working backwards because I, I think there was a, um, maybe, um, money issue not to, to not be able to pay for the surveys and the every, everything that goes with it, the septic design. So we had, uh, Trudel Engineering come in. Um, they did the survey for the lot. Um, they also did a wastewater survey already, but that's down the road. Well, um, there is a chunk of, of this land that perked very well. It's right in the power company's right of way, but we've had Green Mountain Power come up, walk the site with us, and they've said that we're good to put a septic in their right of way there. Um, basically, they were saying it, it benefits them because us building the road, the driveway up into this area, they can now get their trucks up in there in an emergency. So we're helping them. So they're letting us put that that uh, septic in that right of way. Are they going to give you a formal easement or? Um, I think we'll have to get one yeah. before we're done just to cover our bases. Yeah, I would if I were you. Just to um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's that's down the road. Yeah, yeah. No, we just, so, just make sure you yeah. Um this this side of, of the well, I know you guys can't really the 
the um, southeastern side of the property line here, it's pretty steep. So that there's not a lot that can be done there. There's a lot of ledge up in here. Um, also, this, this western side, it, it gets kind of steep and wet too. So there's, there's a lot of areas that aren't useful in there. Can you show me the boundaries um, of the existing lot? So the existing lot goes... It's, it's not on here. Oh, it's not? Oh. It's, it's a very big lot. It, yeah, it goes down. It's all this area and then kind of up and it comes down. And I think it goes to the brook. Or it might, does it go to the other side of the brook? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it goes past where this is. Okay. Um, but it's a very large okay. parcel. Um, and, that, and the access is? Our access would be the right of way going up Brad's existing driveway. Um, there's a power company right of way through here, so we're just kind of using that existing right of way, which was, it was a logging road. Um, okay. Uh, up and, you know, we, we've put the so you can get up into here now. Um, crushed the actually runs back down onto the main road over here at some some venture um, but it it does horseshoe yeah if you wanted to really start digging and tearing um, so Brad Slayton is subdividing off this one four point six six four acre yeah lot, um, uh, to sell and has sold it to you yeah and we um, have our, our and he's retaining the remainder of his lot, which is 35 plus or minus acres. Yeah. And I, I think, I believe he wants to sell some of that too, but that's down the road again. That's later. Um, but for the time being, we're buying this, this chunk right here. Okay. And... Um, access to this lot will be? Uh, will be the existing right of way that the power company has coming up Brad's driveway. There is another right of way access that the power company has over here on the, the main Velco lines. Um, we've been asked not to use that because it does cut across the property for above us. Um, I can't think of the guy's name. Met him. Donald, Donald, thank Donald you. Blanchett. Donald has, and, and he asked us not to use that because he's afraid um, using that will erode his driveway. The, the traffic coming down that steep of a hill will erode his driveway. So that is his right of way. He, he has a he has a little shot through the middle. Like you have to, you go in up Brad's land, and then you have to cut through a portion of his right of way, and then back into this lot, and so you'd be cutting across his property and it's, it's his rights and I don't want to... That's not shown on this drawing. No, it's it's just a, a stone road that Velco put in so they can access their their lines up through here. They're good at that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so the, the best right of way is to come up the Green Mountain Power Access right of way. So that, that right of way is... is um, a right away for Green Mountain Power mm -hmm. to get to there. Yes. Okay. And that same right away serves how many other folk? Um. I think it just goes. It just goes up to the rest of this land up here. Um. Because these other neighboring properties are all along the main road. Right. And but that. How do you get to the cemetery? There's a cemetery there, oh, right? Oh, the cemetery's below Brad's, so you'd st that's still Brad's existing driveway. You, you'd, the cemetery's right... Um, right. Cemetery's right here, so you turn and you come up past the cemetery and you go up past Brad's house, and then the right-of-way would keep going and up into the upper lot. So that easement is that... So the Green Mountain Power has an easement that goes up through there. Yep. Do, do you have a right of way to that? Our, our agreement we talked about was using this Green Mountain Power right of way and making that the right of way to this lot. So, so. 
your agreement with Brad. Yes. But you don't have it. Did you purchase that right away, easement? It was it was in the purchase agreement. It's in the purchase agreement. Yes. Okay. Um, this is good. I'm going to save this because there's a criteria later on we're going to go to about access and so forth. I, I realize that by making a third lot off of this access, that's going to make this a private road. Um, that's that's where that's where I'm headed. Yeah. It's, it's, so and, and, and you have to meet road standards. Yeah. And what you have here does not meet road standards, but we're getting ahead of ourselves in terms of criteria. Yeah. No, that's that's something we we have to kind of create an association or whatever amongst. Well, there's, and there's, yeah, there's more to it than that, but. Okay. Uh, let, we'll get that because I'm going to go through the criteria and just make sure we cover all the bases. Okay. Uh, the bylaws are somewhat new to me, uh, even though we've had them for what a year now. More probably. <laughs> Uh, but Two we're just we're still working through them because you know previous bylaws we had for you know dozens of years so um, so uh, I'm going to go through the individual standards I want to get an overview so you're you're purchasing this lot and you're going to use this right of way and yeah. and so there's there, there's going to be issues about that about that um, I, I did have a question though that cemetery what is what what is that cemetery that's a town cemetery I gather yeah. And uh, how do how do people access that cemetery? There's there's a little patch of grass lawn area right in front of it where people can park a car and. and so they use the same right of way. Yeah, they they use that driveway right now. It doesn't have access to uh, Junction Road. No, they have to come in through through Brad's driveway. Okay. To access the cemetery. Is that a steep road? Uh. Yeah, when you get up up into the actual lot, it gets a little steep. I mean, I I drove a, a F two fifty truck with it pulling a forty foot fifth wheel camper up there. So I mean, it's not like steep like you you can't. And we we had uh, tri axles bringing stone to put on the road up in there. So I mean, where does it start to get steep? Uh, right in Green Mountain Powers, right away under that bend, that curve. Okay. It's it's a little steep. So most of it uh, until you get up to the right of way. Yeah, you're okay. you're in the middle of the lot by the time it gets gets a good. Okay. Um, okay. Other than that, it's it's all pretty straight, and it did have a lopsided when we first. The, the access road was kind of tilted, and so if it got icy, you'd slide and go down. But we've <laughs> We've since corrected that, so now you can. Well, that'd be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, going through the, the subdivision standards, um, uh, am I missing something here, Tom? Uh, uh, capacity of the community facilities and utilities. Um, this has to speak to um, uh, impact on the municipality. Uh, anybody have any questions on any of those issues? didn't receive any comments from police or fire on it. Yeah, I, I, I don't anticipate police, fire, um, uh, ambulance service, um, although I, this goes back to the road in about a minute. Um, uh, obviously, the road has to be serviceable if somebody yeah. wants to come up and, and, and you know provide emergency services. Yeah. And uh, that becomes a bit of an issue the more people are living on the road yeah. the right away. So. Um, we even had a uh, this week, and I had to get a um, flatbed wrecker up there to pull me out of the mud. So, <laughs> so it's you can get a good sized truck up there right now. <laughs> um, water supply, sewage. There is a spring on this lot. There is another spring over about three hundred feet, two hundred feet down, in what will be still Brad's property after his existing spring is is right about I don't know if you can it's it's still on his property um, in the wastewater survey there is some overlap where the um, septic well shield yeah the, it was with it just barely within the 250 feet so they they've said if if we do put a septic in, we will have to put 
we'll probably have to redo the spring or the well. Drill in the well. Um, so that's part of the wastewater. So you were going to rely on the spring, you think, initially? Um, for, for this lot that I'm buying, there there is a spring in the middle that's not affected by anything. So yeah, we're, we're going to, we'll end up putting a, a drilling a well in there. For, but you're not using municipal water or municipal no. sewer, so no. it's going to be on-site water and on-site. Yeah, yes. For which you will be getting a permit from the state. Yep. Yep. And, That's and all after we divide it. I understand <laughs> you are applying for that or going to apply for that. We, um, so Trudel Engineering, who did the survey, has the application all ready to go, but we have to do the subdivision before we can submit the application for that. So they have a plan drawn up. It's just we've got to check this box before yep. we can do that box. You said true line. Is it Trudel or true Trudel. 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 Trudels, yeah. Okay. John Petrowski. Because there is a, there's a there is a survey company called TrueLine. Oh, is there? Yes. <laughs> um, no, John John Petrowski came up and did it. Um, I was on Waterbury Fire for 24 years, um, and John's on Waterbury Fire, so I, I knew him. I, I, but you were saying TrueLine, I think. Oh, I I thought I said Trudel, True, uh, True Dell. Yeah, he did. He did. Okay. <laughs> okay. I heard what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. I don't know, I, I go all over New England, so I've been told I talk funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the um, design and configuration of the parcel, um, I have no issues there with that. No. It's logical. Uh, it's you in, are- It's in a 40, RL 40, it's, so it, the lot size is more than adequate. More than adequate lot size. It does have a fair amount of utility easement on it. Which means there's a lot of area you can't build. Yeah, and, and that was the, the that was part of the problem when when um, finding a buildable spot and also perk. And we found we basically the the wastewater design that's going to be presented. Sorry, you can see we've got a spot. So here's the existing road that comes up in, and here's where it bends. This is Green Mountain Powers right of way. This is Belco's right of way. We've got a spot right here between the two that um, it's a pleasant piece of land. There's there's the uh, septic design over. It's actually, I think it ended up just outside of there right away, but it's it's close, so that's why we kind of. Um, the piping will have to go through. Yeah. yeah, the piping will have to go through, and so we have a proposal basically for a three bedroom two bath home it's, it'll sit right between those those two right of ways so your intention is to, to build a home on eventually lot. yeah probably a year or two down the road um okay. you know we're kind of doing it slowly so we can not go deep into debt over it <laughs> you know we're trying to do as much of it ourselves as we can dig the foundation ourselves um the um I didn't have any issues with the lot dimensions, particularly. Um, again, it's four acres, and, and the zone really only requires an acre, so um, it makes it makes sense where it is. Yeah. Um, I do. I do have one issue here. Um, Thirty five oh four C says you're supposed to put a building envelope. In other words, you're supposed to draw on the drawing where you intend to build. What what part of the property you build? So on. we had that in our, and it looks like the printout was kind of cut, but we. This shows where, so the right of way comes up and it curves and it comes up to the power line and it flattens out and we're basically gonna turn and come in and we're gonna build right, right, there's the land kinda comes to a point right there where there's a notch and it goes down and we're, we're building right on top of that. So, so it appears that this is your building envelope here? Yeah. That needs to be reflected on this. Oh, on this, this yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. Typically, a building envelope is, is uh, showing an area, approximately one acre or less, yeah. of where uh, it is suitable to build based on easements, slopes, okay. and everything else. So Can I have just a sense that draw the, on this paper and give it to you, or do you need something uh, official? Or? It should go back to you. It should go back and have them add that to that. Okay. 
I thought this was was uh, well good enough representation. You couldn't even read that to be honest with you because it's a it's a PDF yeah. which I could hardly I could not expand it on my screen or anything. So that one had the top off topography on it and everything right, too, yep. so that's why we which is great it except, for, except for we don't have a, a, a good copy of it <laughs> yeah um yeah. If we had a good copy of it that would be helpful i have it in my phone i mean yeah i know that it, it needs to be on here okay. I'm, a pa I'm a paper guy okay <laughs> it needs to be this is this is what you're going to file with the town uh on a, a mylar for, okay for the subdivision and the rights of way and the, and the envelope need to be on here Okay. Typically, it's, it's, it's a little dash line that says this is the area I intend to build. Yeah. Okay. I can and, 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 if and it doesn't have to be just the size of the house. Like it's no, just it can, a, it can be a whole area, acre. You know. Yeah, I get, I get it. Um, yeah. Okay. But for lots more than two acres in size, which is yours, yeah. a building envelope must be limited to not more than one acre. Yeah. So you're supposed to show a one acre area where and I, that's that's definitely well within that. Yeah. Even with the yeah. even if you throw the septic in there, yeah. we're we're so not. so you've thought it through. You just it's not on the drawing. Yeah. And we need to have it added to the drawing. Okay. Uh, because we don't have this yet. This is not it's not an official not an official document for us. Okay. Um, until it's been reviewed and approved by the state and so forth. Okay. Um, so that's just it's a, it's a technicality. Is about all it is. Yeah. Because you've obviously thought through the ability of yeah, um, like I said, we worked with yeah. with Trudell to to come in, to, you know, um, and they they've done this a hundred times, so we were kind of relying on on them for what we needed. Uh, next is next is um, beyond building envelope is the design layout of necessary improvements, and this is the the um, road access road uh, right of way issue. Um, it says that um, a vehicle way that provides access to more than three lots, um, six dwellings or, you know, the rest of it, uh, will be considered a road, not a driveway. Yeah. Uh, so um, uh, the... Is it more than three or three or more? It's more than three. To more than three, in other words. And three. I was familiar with that one before because... Being, yeah. yeah, but there's not more than Being three. Being on there. Waterbury Fire, I, I know that's a 911 thing. Is is why they that access that serves. I, I think Matt said it's going to come back around and serve the balance of this lot over here. Well, I th I think the I think Brad's plan was down the road if he sells this that this lot would be accessed from Junction Road down here. Because there there is a there is a logging road down um, just past Dan's house. Um, well, did, didn't you say that is um, Blanchett's off of this as well, or no? Um, no, th this doesn't. No, that was over here, right? Was that the one that they used the? Does Blanchett use Blanchett? They share the first little oh, bit there because okay. because they, so they go around the driver goes around so the that's, cemetery. That's the, this is the and fourth, then it, this it, would be the fourth lot then. Oh, the cemeteries are considered. It, it, the now. cemeteries a lot. Uh, a lot one and lot two are each lots. Okay. Blanchett. Uh, Brad's lot and your lot, and uh, then Blanchett's lot is number four lot. So. The, a segment of this road is basically serving four lots. In other words, more than th will be serving. Yeah. If we approve this. It will yeah. be serving more than three lots. Yeah. Right now, it only serves three lots. I, I knew that was going to be part. Of, I just didn't know how how we go about that process. So. so, in order to permit that, that section of road that's going to be considered road, and 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 we understand Blanchett is possibly thinking about adding lots. I don't know. About oh, that. you don't know? Okay. So that's, that's it's neither here nor there. We're only dealing with what we know so far. Yeah. Okay. I, I know Brad wants to divide a few more lots eventually. But well, that's, if, if that he does, then it, it, that's not in this evidence. But, yeah. you know, if he does, we're going to have to improve other areas. Yeah. Any portion that's going to serve more, any portion of this road that's going to serve more than uh, three lots needs to be brought up to town road standards. Okay. Okay. And that's and that's the issue. The first thing I notice is that the right of way is only thirty feet, uh, and that does not meet town road standards. Um, 
The right of way is only 30 feet. Um, is that width? The here? width, right. Okay. Right, in other words, the, the property with, in which that the road can be built and improved. And, and road, it consists of the road, drainage for the road, yeah. any slopes and all that other stuff. So um, we, we typically insist on a 50-foot right of way minimum just because yeah. you need that much area to work a road. I don't know if that'd be possible on this lower end because you've got the cemetery right here and you've got a brook right on the other side. So that area is a little, and this is all like steep uphill to that cemetery. So if you start going into that bank too much, you're gonna start encroaching on the stability of the cemetery. So I don't know if you can go 50 feet there. Well, the right of way, the right of way has to be 50 feet. Oh. The road doesn't. Roads oh, are okay. 50 feet. Okay. 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 In fact, the road width, road width, um, uh, the standards the town has for road width is 22 feet. Okay. So you have to have a, a, a traveled way, which is 22 feet. Okay. Okay. The right of way, but beyond the traveled portion, obviously you got any side slopes or cuts that you have to do for the road. Yeah. And you have any um, drainage you need for the road. Yeah. Uh, and my understanding is you're going to put the utilities also in the right of way. Yeah, the, the utilities, they currently, the utilities right now are currently, there's a pole with a meter on it right by the cemetery. And we were going to drop our meter at the same spot and run underground up to this lot. Um, is, in, in the right of way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So any portion of this road that's going to serve... Um, more than three lots, and the cemetery is a lot, uh, it needs to meet the town road standards. Okay. Okay, and I have copies of them if you have, have seen them. Yeah, no, I, I'd appreciate it. I, I, can get, I can get that, I mean, it's... But in looking at it, the thing that we're missing is, is an understanding of what's there. Yeah. And, and can you make the improvements necessary to get to where you need to be? Does that have to be done before you can divide, or can yes. you do it as a, we'll have this done in a year? It'll be a condition of, the, of a permit. Okay. Well, no. I won't I mean, talk about that. Okay. I won't so talk can about I ask that. which portion of the road are we talking about? Well, right now, <laughs> if nothing it else... basically have to come up to about this fork, I guess. Correct. Um, if nothing else happens, and... There's no further lots created off of this road or this road than up to here. And after that, beyond that, all you're serving is one, two, three lots. Up here, you're serving one more lot. So, right. Okay, got it. So That's this what I portion, this portion here has to have... If, but if I'm doing this and I'm looking mm -hmm. ahead and i got any intention of doing anything more... This is the time to do it now, not later. But, yeah. But yeah, but for, for now, from my perspective, we need to have a 50-foot right away from here to here, and we need to have a road design from here to here that basically meets town road standards. Yeah. I, I worked for VTrans for five years, and, and I owned a landscape company for 25, so I... So I'm, you understand. I'm pretty exactly. well versed yeah, yeah. in this area, yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the thing I see missing at this point in time. Um, now... We can either make that a condition, and I'm, I'm talking to the other members of the board here. Uh, we can either make that a condition of the permit, and I'm not sure how we enforce that, but uh, or we can ask to see plan and sections of the road to tell us what's going to happen. Can it ha can it happen? Can it happen? Number one. So, uh, what I'd like to see is I personally would like to see uh, some typical sections. Um, at a hundred foot distance or something like that, that tells me what I, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And um, and and a, and a profile. It says I you know I I I can get 22 feet of roadway here. Yeah. And um, uh, I can get the drainage on each side I need to get. And uh, you know I don't need a full design, but. Yeah. Uh, what about the issue of the easement? What? What about the issue of the easement? Uh, and the easement. Right now, there's only a 30 foot easement there. So that it will need to be negotiated as a part of this transaction. Because I'll be honest with you, with a 30-foot easement, it's pretty hard to get in a 22-foot roadway. But who owns the, who, who, 
Who owns the? you had ditches and everything. Who owns the easement? Who owns the land the easement's on? The land surrounding the um, easement or the land of the easement is lot number one. Oh, okay. So, okay. I thought I didn't know if it belonged to somebody so else. So it's it's lot one owns the land from which the easement is conveyed to. Now, this document did not show me that Green Mountain Power also had an easement. It just simply talked about the other parts of the easement. It didn't talk about Green Mountain Power. Yeah, he when, when we purchased it, he included the um, the agreement with them and, and Green Mountain right, Power. Right, but, but, this, but this, plat doesn't, this plat doesn't talk about it. Okay. I don't see, I don't see any reference to a Green Mountain Power easement. I, I, but it was, it was hard for me to read it because of the screen. Yeah. Uh, but there's nothing on here that says... Maybe, GMP. Maybe it was just a Velcro one then. I'll have to look back at that. And and I think you said the Velcro one is the other one. Velcro is this bigger straight line in yeah, the back. Yeah. yeah. Green Mountain Power has this. I mean, typically they don't always have easements crossing land. Um, I have, you know, I, I've got properties and I've got friends with properties where Velcro, the only way they get to their, their, yeah. e their um, uh, right of way, their easement, yeah. is literally up the easement, which isn't always convenient. So they usually negotiate agreements with front neighbors. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe I was looking at a Velco agreement. But, but this and, plat does not say there is an easement by Green Mountain Power. Okay. I'll have to look into that then. Because um, if there is one, it should be reflected. Yeah. It, it may be they, maybe I was looking at Velco and there's no Green Mountain Power and they just have their lines running through there. Um, but I'll, I'll research that. So... If they have their lines, they have an easement. Well, for, but no, for here, necessarily. but not necessarily to get up there, yeah. is what not, you're not, saying. Not the road to get up there, though. Oh, the right, correct. Yeah. The road to get up there is, may, they may not have an easement at all. Yeah, because they, they were using four-wheelers in the past to access up there. Yeah. They would just take a four-wheeler up and, and... Up there to enjoy. Well, I, my experience has been there go across about anybody's land to get there. <laughs> but they have a right of they're, they're, well, well they're, they have yes. they, they have their easement. There's no question they about that. Easement. It's just yeah. how they get there. But how do you get there? That's the question sometimes. Yeah. Um, Unless they were looking at the Velcro access up here and, and coming in. It, 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 it's not material to this application because other than the plat needs to be sure. If, if there is an easement, the plat needs to show it. Yeah. Uh, which I'm guessing is the, the surveyor, the LS, would have recorded that, but maybe he missed it. Um, the, um, so, uh, I would like to see um, uh, Trudell cut a couple cross sections for us here, okay, and show us the grades that we that says we can get this from here to here, fifty foot right away. So I think you need to modify that part of the agreement uh, to get a fifty foot right away, and need to provide enough evidence that says I can get a 22 foot wide road surface there. Yeah. Um, I also would suggest that if it, there's any intentions by anybody to go beyond that, this might break the time to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't have to. That's not for the, your application is, is independent of that. Yeah. Um, okay. But, but we did talk about a shared maintenance agreement. I haven't got there yet. Okay. Yeah. But, but yeah, I, I, I realize that's something we'll have to do too. Is yeah, is we'll yeah. That's that's a couple criteria down. But I, I just want to cover this, and and I sort of wanted to throw up to the other board members. A, anybody feel differently about this? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, we're not making a judgment here. I'm just I'm just saying this. This is what I, I, th I think what we need to see. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think it makes sense. Yeah. Um, the. Um, other other road standards we have deal with connectivity, uh, dead ends, and so forth. But I, I don't see that as I, I, this is no. not going anywhere. At least for your part of this problem, it's going to end with you. Yeah. At your lot. Yeah. Uh, and the the way this lot is laid, it's right in the corner, so there's really no going past it yeah. anyway. So. Because um, um, yeah. that that was if we went a little this way. Not only was this land this land over here not usable, but it would also have created a little pocket here, and it was just so it was decided to move it right into the corner um, for division purposes. Now you say the grade, grades are, are are modest up up until the last little bit. Yeah, it's a little steep right here, and I mean you could 
you could avoid this corner and go straight that way and come up and it's not as steep but this this road was already there yeah and it, it wasn't steep enough where let me ask you this if you needed an emergency vehicle to come up your fire engine i was a fire truck i was a firefighter for 24 years and yeah. i could drive a fire truck up there thank you <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, like I said, we had a flatbed wrecker up there yeah. to winch me out. But that's what we, that's, so. that's our, our concern is, you know, you may know how to do that. You may be able to get a, 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 a large vehicle up yeah. there. But the future owner, because yeah. we're approving a lot, not you. Yeah, and, and fire engines are not as small as they used to be. They, Those cab overs, those oh, yeah. ones are a lot bigger than, than so, yeah. No, you, you could definitely get a fire truck up in there if you had to. Uh, and I'll be glad to provide you a copy, or I, I can I can send you a copy of the design construction standards for town of Berlin. But that has to do with the roadway standards, okay. depth of gravel, yeah, uh, drainage, slopes, all yeah. that. Yeah. But if you work for VTrans, for uh, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, but that's all part of those standards. Um, uh, street trees. There seems to be a lot of natural vegetation there now. Anybody feel? Probably about the street tree? No. Polly? No. <laughs> Your chance. No, I think it's fine. And it's back anyway. Yeah. This is not... It, it's, it's not on this, the street. Yeah. yeah. This is a, a two-lot subdivision. That that road will need to go through and be named a, a road now with this right. lot being... Yeah. 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 yeah it's, it's, and that I, I have to get with um, um, Dan... Donald, I'm horrible <laughs> names, and I apologize. Um, Donald, I'll have, I'll have to get with him and Brad to, to see what they want to do about naming it because <laughs> I do realize that it was yeah. because of it being a private road would have to have a separate name, which would change yeah. his address. Oh. Okay. The other criteria that is germane is water and wastewater. Uh, obviously, you will need approval. Yeah. But we'll, we'll condition our permit on the fact that you will be able to obtain approval from the state for water and wastewater. Uh, if you don't get approval from what then our permit's no, not valid either. No, we've already started that. We've, Trudel's done their legwork on it already. It's it's ready to put to paper and submit. We're just kind of waiting for the the subdivision to go through so we can, we can do that process as well. Um, we have erosion control standards. Uh, they would be bring to any, any work that you do, you know, site work, but it's, it's probably not really an issue with this. We're not talking about a lot of site work. No, we're, we're uh, really just... Even the road improvement for the first, what is that, about 100 yards up to the fork? Uh, I don't think it's even that, honest. Yeah, maybe 100 yards. So it's um, just 700 feet. And yeah. that's, I gather that grade is pretty pretty flat. Yeah, it's flat right up to the fork, and then it goes up to Brad's, and it's still kind of flat up to the right-of-way for the power company there on the other side. So it's it's not. Um, I'm going to skip over stormwater management, unless somebody's got issues there. Uh, obviously, monuments and lot markers will need to be put in accordance with these bylaws, which is also in accordance with the surveyors' yep. standards. Yep, they're they're waiting for this all to be yeah. done so they can stick those in. That they're. So the last thing that you're already aware of um, is this issue of um, uh, ma joint maintenance of roads. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, are, are the thought that you're going to have a, a owners' association agreement, or are you I, thinking about? I, I think that's the easiest way to do it because I mean, like, I have a tractor and, and knowledge in the in the industry, and and Donald up top has a tractor and and he maintains his own section already. So, um, you know, we, we the portion we, we're talking about right now, frankly, is 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 just that first yeah. seven hundred feet. Yeah, I mean, you really should have a portion because there's a portion beyond that that will serve uh, Slayton and you. And you really should have an agreement between the two of you. Yeah. But that's only, again, that's then beyond that, it's and, all about you. And yeah. I, yeah. And, 
And I've I've made the offer. I said I'll maintain that in the winter if if I have to. And Brian, Brad's helper, said that there's a neighbor that comes over and does it for him. And I'm I'm more than willing to to work something out with them as far as maintenance on it. You know, the, the issue is this, when you don't own it. Right. Yeah. I was see, gonna say, see, yeah. Once 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 permits issued, you you may or may not own it, and then. Yeah, then, no, I, I guess it's just getting something in writing that this is, yes. this is what I mean, we... Even if it's allocating percentage based on the length of the road or yeah. something, just that who's responsible. I think I gave you a draft copy of... Oh, I gave it to somebody recently. It helps when, when people it, sell it's the It's going to be a condition your permit. Now. Yeah. Because it comes back to haunt the community. No, it, yeah. Um, you, you definitely want it all in writing to cover your bases in I case could, something... I give you a whole litany of town roads <laughs> in this town that have gone that way. Uh, it's been an ugly situation, so yeah, you're best off putting in writing to begin with. Yeah, no. And where there's a shared responsibility, it goes with a lot, and the next lot owner has the same responsibility. So. And they're aware of it when they buy it. Yeah, because it's, it's part if of it's the, in the deed, yeah. it's, it makes it that much easier. That way, they yeah. don't they're not surprised. No. So that's yeah. Yeah. So Even if it's, you're going to maintain it. Have place. we been requesting yeah. to see copies of those transactions? Those, yeah. Yeah, so we'll we'll make that a condition. We'll also want to see a sample of what you intend to do. Okay, I can give you a draft. Yeah, that'd be great. There's, there's several several ways to go, whichever works best for you guys. You know, uh, creating a um, owners association sometimes is more clumsy than than de dealing with with deeds. But that's yeah. really up to personal preference. But can't the owners association be something as simple on paper as Hey, this is the association of X Y Z Road. That's where you return to get the dues yeah. are one dollar a year, yeah, and we all that, that's <laughs> you and your legal. It, 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 it immediately brings your attorneys involved. Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, it is, it is attorneys. honestly, in my opinion, <laughs> best to put it on the deed so that, like I said, if any buyer is aware of the agreement. Um, so, so there's I saw a lot of cases in law school with fights over roads because there was no, it was just no, yeah, nothing was written down and everybody was arguing about who had to maintain it. So. Yeah. Yeah, because it can get expensive. Yeah. I, I've, yeah. I've, Especially on some of the driveways in, or the roads or driveways in Vermont. I think I've put 4000 into putting yeah. the road up into there already this summer. Yeah. So, and that was with my equipment. So, so I, I didn't have anything else with the other criteria. Um, there are several more criteria having to deal with uh, uh, character of the area, but it's, it's, it's a residential area. Um, so, uh, settlement pattern. So I'm hearing the need for continuation then? Um, yes, I think so. I think we need to continue this so we can see the easement issues resolved on the portion of the road which needs to have 50 foot right away, which needs to yep. just have 22 feet of road surface. To that first, um, first little yeah. up to the floor. We need to, we need to see some evidence of what's going to be built there. The building envelope. Yeah. Well, the yeah. building envelope, but I'm talking about the road. Oh, I'm, back, yeah. I'm back on the road. Just cross sections, okay. uh, distance, profile. Yeah. You know, I, I take your word for it. It's relatively level. Just want to see it. Paper. Yeah, it's it's level. I mean, it's it's pitched a little, but it's it's level. Yeah. Well, nothing's very level in Vermont. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and um, uh, building envelope. Building the envelope, which is, you know what it is, it just needs to be put on the drawing. So yeah. that's, that's a simple drafting exercise. Verifying these other rights of way that may not be on here. Yeah, it just, you 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 brought up some right of way issues that I don't understand, but it sounds to me like there is, um, my guess is it's not a Green Mountain Power right of way on this, but if you, there is, it should be, it should be mentioned in the, in the plat. Okay. Um, to be accurate. Okay. Uh, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, true will probably, I think they talked about that some, but I guess maybe I, I should have pushed them a little more to make it here tonight. Then I thought, I, I thought I'd be able to answer everything. <laughs> no, it's... They cost money when they come to meetings. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, yeah. It's, it's another $4,000 to get them here for the night. <laughs> so we want to see so. the building, building elbow. We want to see... Um, uh, how you're going to apply the road standards, um, yeah. the 50 foot right of way, 20 foot, 22 foot uh, roadway section. 
which seems like an overkill, but if there's future development, you know, which is likely to be, yeah, uh, it needs to be there, um, and we want to see a sample maintenance agreement. Okay. That's right. So I'll, I'll that's give some measurements for the road, and then uh, yeah, it's just some discussions with the neighbors and. I'm okay with the maintenance yeah. agreement being conditioned, but or being I don't I don't know that he's gonna have time to get that for. Okay. I mean that's just my personal. I mean the road the road's wide enough now. Like I said, I I, I have a forty foot fifth wheel that I pull with a crew cab truck, so it's a monster long setup, and it, the truck's actually lifted, so that makes it that much worse. And I I can pull it up into there, so. We have some recent precedent requiring <laughs> the maintenance agreement oh. in advance. Which we do? Yeah. 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 The one over here off of Scott Hill Road. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. And ultimately, when they file a plat, it's going to have to be with, it's going to be with the filing. Uh, so within, whenever they file a subdivision, uh, final plat, uh, that has to be, that has to be there. So, so we, it says in the bylaw that the, the DRB may require that to provide a draft of the covenants or agreements. And that's what we're asking for is a draft of the covenant agreement. Um, but ultimately, when they go to file it, um, that filing will have to be, it'll have to be with that filing. Right. They have like six months to file, right? They have six months to file, correct. So, was there anything I missed? A date certain or... Uh, yeah, how long do you think it would take you to deal with this? Uh, um, the changes to the I mean, some of this is weather dependent at this point, too, with snow coming, you know, the, um, for road design measuring, that's, that's going to be kind of weather dependent. But, um, you know, a month, six weeks, I could probably get this all together. Uh, what's I, our schedule I could like? Scramble Tom? to get in uh, for next week, next month. Well, we're not in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, it depends on how much of a hurry you're in. Oh. <laughs> well, like we've said, I, I, I want to get this done just in case, God forbid, something happens to to Brad, not to wish anything. But if something did happen, that's going to make this a whole lot messier. So, yeah. um, I, I'd like to finish it up sooner than you later. You want to say about a month? We've mm -hmm. got. Uh, regular scheduled meetings on December 6th and 20th and then the first Tuesday in January is probably the second the third January 3rd so it's um, I guess here's pick a date of our next meeting that you think you can make it, and yeah. if you can't, you always ask for a continuance. I, okay. I, I would do December 20th, sounds like. That's I, I was, I was thinking. thinking December 20th is good too, that's right between that four and six week. Yeah. So yeah. it's it gives me time to kind of do get some measurements yeah. and do some research and, yeah. and yeah. And just for the record, if you have to get a continuance, basically we just meet, meet on the widget. To continue. Uh, yeah, I mean, we would say I need a continuous and Okay. And we go yeah. another. We, we, we grant you a continuous. So we can do that all online, so yeah. it's not Jan a big deal. January 3rd and then January 17th. The okay. advantage, advantage of, 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 of setting a date in advance is that you don't have to rewarn it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's just simply now set. It's already been warned. And yeah. anybody that's and partying here today. If you, you go to the original yeah. warning, it, yeah. you go to this meeting and you see it. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Um, let's, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's go for the 20th then. Okay. All I right. move we continue this application to December 20th. Well, second. Motion has been made and seconded to continue this meeting until December 20th. Um, any discussion on that motion? Polly, John? John, you're still with us? Oh, yeah, I am. I see you. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear you. My apologies. Um, all, those, all those in favor of that motion, please. Oh, the kitty's with you, too. Please say, my, please say aye. 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 Is anyone opposed? Abstentions. Well, thank you. Um, we are continuing this till the 20th uh, right. to get those yeah, items you. ironed out. And, oh. Uh, louder. Yes. Louder. Louder? <laughs> yes. God, nobody's ever told me to be louder. <laughs> nobody's ever said to be louder. I usually hear shut up, but... If I, have to, 
Well, I have a little microphone. And, and most right. most of the people I know now are hard of hearing, so I'm used to screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so Carla, you. <laughs> Carla, what Bob said is it's continued to December twentieth. Thank you. And did John second that motion from the Carla? No, Tor, Tor, Tor did. All right. Thank you very much. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good, Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on getting that. And Good luck with that. Yeah. Sounds like you're most, most of the way there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. It's, yeah. Well, we originally bought it December of last year, so it's been about a year now. Just getting all the legwork done to get to here, but yeah. It's a process. <laughs> it's a process. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to ask you what I saw on uh, Google Map up there. <laughs> oh yeah, it, when we bought it, it was a mess. Um, I think I we we took out two truckloads of just garbage. From, there there was an acre up there that a kid was gonna buy from Brad before, and he went up there and set a camper up and just destroyed it just basically made it a landfill Ugh. and it was yeah i i all spring spring when we did the test holes i had the excavator up there and it was just clearing up that trash and and spent most of the summer just just moving dirt to get roads built and pitches and and trash cleaned up and brush and, and everything else and, and it's actually it's put a lot of effort into it <laughs> so all right good but i, I no, i'm not <laughs> owning the property god bless you yeah um, right you know. <laughs> the thing i do love about it though is where it sits where we want to build the house you look right up sunny brook road valley and my uncle and my grandparents' house is oh, right cool. there, so, very cool. so I look right at their houses. Very nice. So that's that's the yeah, best part about cool. it. Yeah. Good All thing. right. Well, thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Any questions? You feel free to call Tom because I'm sure he can help you. Okay. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Well, we have one more item on our agenda, and that's the approval of minutes of September sixth. You know, it's funny. I thought, are you, were these the last minutes? I looked back. We haven't met since then. That's correct. So uh, we have actually issued the findings of fact for that hearing. Um, yeah. But we still need to approve the minutes uh, formally. Um, and uh, I, I had one small edit, yeah. uh, which um, I shared with Carla, and she actually made the change. But it was that she had said in the minutes that uh, the, um, I can't even remember now, something was, had been provided, but the applicant did not provide it. He simply said he had it and he could provide it. And I uh, believe Carla, the, Carla made the those changes. For the lighting. Okay. What was that, Carla? It was the cut sheet for the lighting. Correct. Thank you. And so, uh, so let's see. I would uh, make a motion to approve the minutes subject to that one change. <laughs> Okay, most been made in second to approve the minutes of September 6th. Now I can't uh, hear you. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't uh, but anyway, most been made and seconded to approve the minutes of September 6th, subject to that one small change. Aye. <laughs> Aye. 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 Thank you. I lost track of where I am. Adjourn. Um, so does it? No, I, 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 does anybody feel we need to uh, go into a um, deliberate session? No. We pretty much did our deliberate. No, I, you know, it's pretty straightforward and we'll probably get the missing pieces in six weeks or whenever the 20th is. Five weeks. <laughs> okay, then I will entertain the motion to adjourn. Who made it? So moved. Uh, tour. Second. And second by John. John's ready to go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not debatable. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you.